Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have the mental math trick proof. If you remember from our last problem, which will be linked in the description here, we had a way to square any number ending in 5. And a quick recap of that, we would have 25 squared. We could show that by taking the first uh, numbers before the 5, so the 2, multiply that by one more, which is 3, and we would get a 6. Then from there, we take that 6, add on 5 squared, which is a 25, and there is our answer. So how does this trick work? Well, I want to break down what is 25 squared. 25 squared is a 20 plus a 5 all squared. And then with that, a 20 is really a 10 times a 2 plus 5 all squared. And that's going to be an important visual for the problem. So our problem here says whatever is in front of the 5 becomes before it, we have to multiply it by that plus 1. So we take that, well, let's call it x here, that first area, whatever it is, and then we have a 5 and we're squaring all of that. Well, notice when I broke this down, I broke that down to be a 20 to be a 10 times a 2, okay? Well, because we know that value here is always going to be something with 10, we need a 0 there for the place where the 5 is. So if I rewrite this, I really just have a 10 times some integer, some value, let's call it n, okay, plus 5, all squared. So let's go simplify this out. 10n plus 5 all squared is 100n squared plus 100n plus a 25. Now I'm going to pull out a 10n here. So to pull out a 10n, I'm left with a 10n plus 10, and then we have a plus 25 here. Now notice we said that 10n represents whatever that x value is. So if we swap that back in, 10n represents whatever that x value is. Remember we can be multiple digits here. So we have an x here multiplied, and if x is at 10n, then an x plus 1 is at 10n plus 10. Then we add a 25, and there we have it. Our trick here of x, whatever that first bits are, all uh, with a 5 at the end in the units column, squared is equal to that x times x plus 1 plus 25. I hope you found this video informative, and if you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.